Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII. Let's play it! It's me, Get Daved. Had a couple of people in the comments section tell me that they... One sec, we gotta talk here. The Dark Crystals. Then I would like you to make one. This seems like a very terrible device to use as a locking mechanism in a palace if there's a settlement that manufactures them right outside. Oh, okay, just a little thing for the kids to do for us to sell. Okay, talk to the kids. Oh, hey. Pinello? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same, though the answer is pretty clear. No good. Well, You're not wrong. I'm being good. Hmm. Mm. Is that right? <laughs> so, then you wouldn't mind if I, say, tagged along, would you? Huh? I'm over oh, here. don't worry. Miguel is busy with preparations for the fade up at the palace. Why, I'm free for the whole day. Well, let's get going. I'm over hmm. here. All right. Canelo is, by some measures, the worst character in the game. <laughs> There's a lot of subjectivity to the character ratings in this game, okay? So, the case could be made that she's the worst, but she has the potential to be a really good mage, and actually some mad ninja skills. Yeah. You never know who's gonna, who's gonna have them. So the question is, what do we do with her? We don't really have any of the abilities we need. This is our ninja, right? Wow, okay, that's kind of interesting. A thousand needles. Yeah. Okay. So... She has a tie for the fastest combo animations with ninja swords. So that's a big deal, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, doesn't have a super high physical strength, um, but she's a really good mage. This one's more of a long-term investment, like a long, long-term. We'll go black mage for now, although I feel a little... And balanced having two mages. And let's spend some licenses. She already had that. I might transfer this to her. And we'll unlock it for the sake of having it. Ah, oh, the pointy hat. To a certain extent, the, the wisest thing to do with how you class all your characters is just have fun, like, and don't worry about it. I think that honestly is the most important thing. There's no end to the efficiencies you can find. Like, generally you wouldn't want someone like Bosch to be a mage. <clears throat> you wouldn't want certain characters to be a mage. Ooh. 
would want other characters to be, you know, physical. Alright, the fire spell. That is what we needed. And yeah, no rods for us. Vaughn also has the potential to be very good with Katana because he has decent magic and decent physical strength. Alright, they sent us to the south. We can't explicitly go that direction. Ah, like Sparta. Yeah, they learned from him. Great. Uh, you get full HP and MP every time you check a crystal. I'm going to be saving quite religiously. It'll be okay. It's also worth being reasonably cheap in this game. Oh yeah, cool, we do have some gambits. By and large, gambits are the secret to the game. Oh, we can't configure it yet. So you can see that G by Pinella? She's in Gambit mode. Which you can think of as AI. Right now we're not going to have a huge disparity in strength. Boy, one more point of strength would go a long way. Um, how tough do you think he is? Oh, we're okay. It does pay to be reasonably cautious in this game. Yeah, he must have had like one hit point. So, treasures in this game. I have praised Yusumi Matsuno and his math. I'm also going to try to say his name a different way every time, and it's going to come up easily 10,000 times. It's that giant thing over there. Cool. Uh, we're probably okay on Vaughn's hit points. Yeah, live and let live, man. Not you. I wasn't talking to you, hyena. Oh yeah, enemies can combo you too. Anyway, Mr. Matsuno is a big fan. Oh, that's an alpha. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, items execute really quickly, by the way. It's a good thing. Alright, Pinello casually defeats him. So we nearly had a problem there. Yeah, we're still on level 2. We're not going to worry about taking that big guy out. I think experience points are divided in this game. Uh, we're gonna have to... Oh no, we've got the route figured out, I think. Yep, see ya!
He's still chasing us. So, one thing I don't like that Matsuno does in a lot of his games is he has a really high degree of randomness, so... For example, in an area of Final Fantasy Tactics called Deep Dungeon, or depending on the version you're playing, Midnight's After Dark or something like that, there's treasures you can find by just randomly stepping on nothing to do with that. By randomly stepping on certain spots on the map. Alright, no big deal. You can do that. Except you have a stat in that game called Wraith. It's a number from 1 to 100. It's very helpful on everything except if you step on a random tile you have like uh, one minus your brave stat, or 100 minus your brave stat, percentage chance of picking up the good one. So if a character has 10 brave, there's a 90% chance you get the good item. If they have a 90 brave, 10% chance. It's quite annoying. The game never tells you that. That's just how it works. Uh, not feeling well. Running from some monsters, yeah. I'm looking for you and I want your sunstones, kid. Just hold them by these big solar batteries. So you need as few as two and as many as four. We do lots of gauge filling in this game. So that's kind of a weird way of getting treasure. In this game, basically every treasure chest has at least two items. So like we're picking up 14 gil. Its other item could be anything. And usually it's pretty unremarkable. But every once in a while it's... Like, do you want to know how you get Excalibur in this game? There's one room that has a certain... Oh no, don't do that, Dave. There's a certain probability of spawning... A, a treasure chest. And that treasure chest itself has like a 1 in 4 chance of having Excalibur and a 1 in... Or a 3 in 4 chance of having something like... And Gil, let's say. Something unremarkable. And every time you move three rooms away, it redoes the chance of spawning these, or will respawn them. So that was probably the rare drop we got there. So you just cycle in and out over and over until you get it. And I think that's a bit of a buzzkill. For some grindy types, that's their jam. Uh, and they'll do that even with kind of important, like a treasure they tell you about, for example. Be sure to get this sword, but it's, you know, 50-50 shot of getting it. So you kind of got to grind a bit. That's something I, I don't care for. We can avoid the most of it, I think. And I'm going to rely on guides to just help navigate some of that stuff, because... For me, that that's not the fun kind of gambling. Alright, pretty good. Worst case scenario, you have to go to all four, I believe. 
Oh, so I'm gonna try to focus on just fighting hyenas, because we might get a decent chain going. Oh, right. So as the chain builds and builds, you get better and better uh, item drop probabilities. Don't quote me on this, but I think that's a mechanic from FF11? I only played that game for about, I don't know, 10 hours? Which is eight seconds in FF11 time. I played it when they did like a free demo. Yeah, so we're up to the next chain level now. And that is reason enough to avoid all of that, I would say. Uh, anyway, I did, like, just a couple introductory things, and that was it for FF11. Which I did not mind. That game is... by design, absurdly difficult to force a certain degree of cooperation. Oh, right. Gotta keep our chain intact. Pretty sassy. Well, since I'm running, yeah, we've got another another charming fellow chasing us. Cool, we got outside of his zone of control or whatever. Man, if we were using swords, there we go. Alright, let her rip, Vanello. There we go. A little extra firepower. I don't know if we get an experience bonus or not. With all this sweet min maxing I'm doing. So, yeah, based on the respawning of these treasure chests, I could walk a loop infinitely and just keep picking them up over and over. Which, to some people, like, that's perfection. Ooh, two wolf belts. Remember, that's our source of cash. You don't get gill from fighting monsters most of the time. Not directly, anyway. They have the middle step of you have to get pelts or other types of booty. And uh, you sell it, and then you get the money from that. Let's just take a look at our license situation here. I've got a little bit. Again, yeah, might be worth investing in that. I'm mostly keeping my out for when we can finally learn dark. And we'll have to reluctantly bring the chain to an end. I'm not sure if going to a save crystal cancels out the chain. That would definitely be a good reason to not do it. Although, honestly, these sorts of optimizations this early in the game are absolutely not worth it. Oh, 
We got the low roll, everyone. Okay, we'll fight this one and then do a heal. And if we were really trying to be efficient, we would have Finello initiate the attack. Starting nest egg here. Uh, well, at least she comboed. It's the thing, this game is. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not exactly slow paced because the action has got this fluidity to it, but you often don't have to provide super direct input because. Either it's the beginning of the game where you have gambits. So in a way this is the start of what destroyed Final Fantasy Combat where you're sort of managing it at a higher level. But I mean it's There's a certain chillness to it. about B first. Also, we had that Hyena Alpha a little while ago. That um, still counts as being in the same family. Get ready to run. Yeah, we're good. Also, I think the sun, or the shade stones, I don't know, the big energy spires regenerate um, based on the same rule as I described with respawning treasure chests as well. Cool. Oh, okay, well I guess we're not that far from them anyway. Can we have her for free for helping you? No. Oh. Yes. Oh yeah. So if Tot told you to run to your death, you would do it. Well, you don't want to look like a chicken. I feel like his clothes are based on a dare he took, too. I mean, you could stop sending him to werewolf-infested lands, but yeah. Alright, good news, everyone. Completed our first odd job. This warrants a saving. And in the next episode, uh, I guess we break into a castle. I'll see you.